Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll see how to create an average value for a subset of data in a table. Now, let's say you have a huge table like this where you have a bunch of colleges and the states in which they are located, a ton of other numerical information. And let's say you want to find out the average enrollment for full time students in the state of Texas, in the state of New York and the state of California. OK, so you want to find out the average values for the full time undergraduate students in each of these three states, but not the other states. Now, to pull out that data from this huge table is uh, difficult to do manually one by one. So what we can do is use the average if function. So I have created a little table here for uh, the states, Texas, California and New York, the average full time undergraduate enrollment. We have already used the sum if function here. So that formula is available. Now we'll see how to use the average if function. So to get started, we can either click on the function or you can type in the function here. I'm going to click on the function and look for statistical uh, category. And within that, click on the average if choice, average if function. You can see it has a range that you need to supply, a criteria and the average range. Now let's see what these are. The range is the range of cells in which you will specify the criteria. So that would be the states. Now to select it, I could just click on the first state and press control shift and keep going down. Okay. Um, so that's one way to quickly um, select the entire range. Another way to select it is slightly slower. I can just keep pressing shift and keep pressing the down arrow. That's going to take a while. So that's not recommended. A third method is to click on the first uh, cell and scroll down with your um, on, on the right all the way to the bottom and then press shift, keep shift pressed and click on the last button. So those are three ways in which you can select a large range quickly. Go back here. Now we specify the criteria for criteria. You can either specify the specific state in this case, TX, or you can specify the cell in which that criterion exists. Now the cell which in which the criterion exists is this cell right here, C2. And the average range is the range in which you have to, in which the numbers are located, whose average you want to find. So I'm just going to click on the first one and press control shift down arrow. And unfortunately there are lots of blanks here. So I will have to, I cannot use control shift down arrow to select all of them in one go. I can use it, but I'll have to keep repeating it. So instead I'm just going to press scroll all the way to the bottom and press shift and press the bottom most button. And that selects the entire average range. Now I can click okay. And I have a number here. Now, supposing I want to just copy the same formula to these two cells, I could drag this fill handle here, but it will give me wrong values. And the reason for that is because the cell range B8 to B1309 will now become B9 to B1310, which is not something that we want. So to make sure that it doesn't happen, we need to select this entire range and put dollar signs before the letters and the numbers. So to do that, you can just press the F4 button and it'll automatically insert the dollar sign. You need to do a similar thing here. So here you can, instead of using F4, you can just press the dollar sign before each individual, uh, you know, letter and number. Either way is fine. And once you do that, you can now copy this formula down to the next two cells. And now, as you can see, as you go down, numbers will remain the same. B8 through B1309, L8 through L1309. Now the C number, C2, C3, and C4, right? That should change and that is proper. So this formula works and we have just successfully created the average values for full-time undergraduate enrollment in specific states in our data set. So I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and please enjoy more videos on codable.com.